Kakaha Beach is considered to be a complete ocean playground, a spot that breaks nearly 365 days a year. Because of the break's diversity, it is one of the few spots in this world that allows just about any type of wave riding. The 18th annual Buffalo's Big Board Classic showcases Makaha Beach. The Buffalo Big Board Contest is for all the people that really don't enter contests. It's more like a fun contest and a enjoyment one, and more of like family, everybody's coming together. Newly crowned longboard champion Rusty Keolana is one of the sons of the event's founder, Buffalo. There are 10 different events that are held on three weekends. The events range from longboarding, tandem surfing, canoe surfing, and one of the newest favorites, bully boarding, for contestants who are 250 pounds and over. Wait, this is what happens when you get in the way with two big guys. During each event, competitors score points by doing tricks. Each trick must be held for at least three seconds. There's the one where you lay down on your back, put your hands over your chest and pray to the Lord because you're in the position of a coffin. There's, uh, for instance, uh, where you sit up, another one, and cross your arms. That's the Buddha, uh, sit down kind of stance. Uh, there's another one where you stand straight up. You lean back and you cross your your arms, that's called the king stance. The scooter boy where you grab the water with your foot and actually pedal yourself through the water. So you'd have to do that three times in order to qualify for the three points that that maneuver is worth. So each maneuver is judged according to a point system. Tandem surfing has long been one of the more artistic events of the classic. It's a mixture of surfing and ballet. But recently, tandem bully boarding has become even more popular. Two riders, one big board. It can be quite entertaining. You have two people, and you have to work with each other with the same tricks that you're going to have to do. But it's a fun contest with the big bully board. They got things like the tiki, the scooter boy, um, cockroach, different kind of maneuvers. It's way different from the regular surfing. Perhaps one of the more dangerous events is canoe surfing. Of course, these participants are very experienced, but when you're dealing with the ocean, you're always at her mercy. The canoe surfing, uh, I think that's going to be hot. Plus, we're seeing guys from the mainland coming over, um, lots of guys from Japan, uh, or even a crew from New Zealand might be coming down also. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Plus with the tandem too, lots of, uh, of the younger kids tandeming also. But what makes this event so successful and fun over the years is the people. For three weekends out of the year, the entire West Coast community gathers for one big party. 